document tracking flowchart. The process will begin at the school when the teacher creates a tracking slip using their HRIS account. After generating the slip, the teacher will attach it to the documents before submitting to the district office. The district office will receive the documents and forward them to the division office. Depending on the type of document, it will then be sent to various offices. Some might take several days, and if any requirements are not met, it might be returned to the district office. After completion, the documents will be sent back to the district office by the division office for the teacher to claim. Here is how you can generate the tracking slip. Proceed to the document tracking module and add a new document by clicking the blue icon at the top right corner of the screen. Enter the document type, document details, document purpose, action unit and receiving office. For a better understanding, let us differentiate between the receiving office and the action unit. The action unit refers to the unit office or section where the document is ultimately destined for its final processing review or action. It identifies the office in charge of making important choices or actions regarding the purpose or content of the document. Example, if a teacher submits a report but needs approval from the school's division superintendent the action unit could be the office of the school's division superintendent. While the receiving office refers to the initial recipient of the document, the office that first receives and acknowledges the document. It identifies the department or person in charge of receiving, recording, and possibly sending the document to the relevant action unit. Example. If a teacher submits a proposal to the Planning and Research Office for review, the receiving unit would be the district office. To summarize, the receiving unit indicates the first point of receiving and processing in the organizational workflow, whereas the action unit is for the document's final destination or decision-making authority. The tracking and handling of papers throughout their life cycle is made easier by these features. The My Documents section will display information about the ongoing documents after you hit the Submit button. Icons with corresponding actions appear next to the document's details. The visibility icon will view the document details, the person in charge, action taken, date and time, tracking number and other specific details. The edit icon lets you edit the document details. However, once the receiving office receives the document, you can no longer apply changes. The trash icon will delete the selected ongoing document. Like the edit icon, a document cannot be deleted once it has been received by the receiving office. Click the checkbox button to mark the ongoing document as complete. The paper icon will generate a tracking slip which you are going to attach to your document. After adding a document, let's move on to the routing module. There are specific staff members assigned to the district offices and SDO offices who are responsible for receiving and forwarding the documents. This module is only accessible to those who have been given permission by the unit heads and public schools district supervisors. To receive a document, the user must go to the incoming document section of the routing module and click the receive button. In addition, can also view the transaction history of his, her assigned office and generate Excel file for report purposes.
To forward a document, the user must go to the pending documents and select the forward button. A box will then appear from which the user can select which office will get the document next and add a remark if needed. For offices such as the district offices and records section that are responsible for releasing the completed documents, the user in charge has to click on the release button to complete the process. But before clicking the receive button, the user must enter necessary remarks regarding the document in the remarks field. Once the document is ready for release, a released status will appear on the user's document details. It is important to remember that a user can only see the status of the documents they have added to the system. A user as cannot see the document status of another user. After claiming the document at the district office, the user can now select the check mark button to clear the ongoing document view. However, completed documents can still be viewed by selecting the purple button located on the upper right corner of the screen, next to the Add Document button. This is how you navigate the tracking and routing module of the HRIS. The tracking system is currently being implemented. Before submitting your documents, generate your tracking slip first.